in spring of this year, we had a report from McCrary County of, of potential fire ants, and we went down there and took a sample, and sure enough, it was an uh, imported fire ant. Um, it turned out to be a hybrid fire ant. Um, we treated that mound. The county agent there put out a Facebook post, and she started getting more reports of, of fire ants. And so we did some more sampling, and we have found uh, fire ants in McCrary and Whitley County. Numerous mounds essentially concentrated along uh, Highway 92 and points to the south. You know, having fire ants in Kentucky is really a big deal. And, you know, we, we have these two counties now where parts of those counties, they seem to be very well established. So our efforts are going to be to try and slow the spread into other counties in Kentucky. And that's where uh, just people in Kentucky can really help us out. Um, people on the ground are the eyes and ears for us. And when they see suspected mounds, you know, they may not be able to identify them, but if they see uh, large raised mounds uh, with no distinctive entrance in them, they need to contact their county extension office. And if these are in areas where we don't believe they have become established in, we're gonna need to have someone go out there, check them out, and if they are fire ants, uh, to control those mounds so that they don't spread into new areas. We really want to keep them confined as much as possible. We've been dealing with fire ants um, off and on for a number of years in Kentucky, really since 1999. It's been predominantly in the western part of the state, in particular the land between the lakes. And these have been very localized infestations and we've been able to go in and treat them and knock them out. So to our knowledge, we do not have fire ants um, established in that part of the state. The fire ant is a quarantinable pest uh, because it is an aggressive stinger and the different commodities that can be quarantined are heavy equipment, uh, forestry equipment, nursery stock, um, and hay, the movement of hay. A typical fire ant mound will have what we call a, a fluffy soil appearance. It looks uh, similar to the soil when you freshly till your garden. They're going to be found in open areas, um, in pastures, along roadsides, but they will not be found deep in the woods. You know, if people uh, in these areas where they are established need to treat for fire ants, what we recommend is that they use some of the commercially approved fire ant baits. These are spread, uh, it's usually just, just a few uh, tablespoons around the colony itself. The ants collect them, bring it into, into the colony, and the, the queen gets poisoned and the colony dies. We feel that's, this is the most effective and environmentally sound way of controlling the mounds. Uh, people just need to be very careful to read and follow the label directions on those products.